This is the height of election season in one tiny Montana town. And on the eve of the final vote, the candidates are making their final grumpy cases to the public. Our campaign correspondent on the ground, Harry Smith, has our Sunday closer. Up along Route 2 in northern Montana is the little town of Rudyard. And if you drive by, you can't miss the sign. 596 nice people and one old sorehead. They're about to elect a new sorehead here, and you know us media types, we just couldn't stay away. What does it require to oh. be a sorehead? Well, <laughs> not really very much. <laughs> the sorehead is theoretically the town's grumpiest person, but in fact, it's usually one of the nice guys who gets picked. Bob Toner was himself the sorehead here once. The tire shop owner knows well the considerable responsibility that goes with this elected office. Great Falls Tribune put Rudyard on the top 50 things to do on your bucket list right. in the state of Montana. Yeah. And one of them was to shake hands with the old sorehead in Rudyard. Really? Yeah. Yeah, wow. so that was, I don't know, eight, ten guys stopped in and <laughs> had to have them a picture taken. And eight or ten? Yeah, <laughs> that was a big deal. Stop the that influx. Was, it's eight or ten more than we've had in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Not unlike other American elections, money plays a big role here. To vote, you put a dollar in a coffee can with a candidate's name and picture on it. The money raised supports the town senior center. I know myself well enough to know that I have the potential to be a sorehead. You might have to stay in town for a while to really drum up enough money to be in contention, but we'd enjoy your participation. On a perfect late summer evening, all of the candidates but one showed up for a potluck picnic. Do you want to be elected well, sorehead? Well, there's better candidates than me. Yeah. <laughs> More deserving, I guess. Nicer or sore? Well, I don't like none of them, really, but <laughs> they're, they're all okay. There were no stump speeches. They told me all you had to do was show up. But the homemade food. Well, that's a frog eye salad. What's a frog eye salad? <laughs> was truly inspirational. I've made this observation years in the news business. Master the obvious. No women candidates. Does that mean no woman is a sorehead? It means we have some smart men in our community. <laughs> <laughs> Folks in Rudyard take that community spirit thing to heart. They even invited me into the election. Well, if you do that, then you get to be a nomination oh. for the old Sorehead. Still, there was the matter of residency, and they figured that out too. Wow, this is kind of the fancy yeah. end of town out here. And then you get down to the end of the street, you yeah. take a left, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> An outhouse for the outlier candidate. No jokes, please, about just how much sense this might make. It gives you the option of having the residency here in town. If that allows me to qualify. <laughs> it doesn't take too much. <laughs> Clear, clearly not. And Harry joins me now live. So the polls close tomorrow. Yeah. Last day of voting today. Uh, How are you feeling about your chances? Well, you know, this is decidedly less contentious than the most recent election we've had to cover. I don't know. It looks pretty tough. Right. Well, here's the smart money. Smart money in Rudyard is on Bob Christensen. He's okay. 80. He's the only one who didn't show up at that big convention we had there. He was, he's 80 years old. He was out zip lining that wow. night. Yeah. Wow. So, <laughs> so the smart money's on Bob. And it's for a great cause. That senior center senior needs center a lot of work. Senior needs all that money. Needs all that money. And here's the other thing. You buy, you stop in Rudyard. There's stuff to do there. I mean, there's a, like a lot of stuff to do there. If you go across the street from the tire shop, there's a little car museum. It's really nice. You have to stop in the car at the tire shop, get keys to get into the car <laughs> museum. And you saw the story from, from North Dakota. Sure. They've got their own dinosaur museum there, too. They dig them up right in everybody's backyard. Kind of 500 or so people. That's a lot of attractions. It's actually that. population. A little oh, is it a little less now? <laughs> Gotta update that sign. That's it. Harry Smith, good luck, my friend. All right. Good to see you. May the best sorehead win. <laughs> you grump. <laughs> Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.